Since the reopening of schools on the 10th of January 2022, some government-funded primary schools in Aurora City have been facing financial and operational challenges due to the delayed payments of the Universal Primary Education Fund. At Swale Hill Primary School, challenges of class congestion, low staffing of teachers, and poor sanitation facilities such as proper garbage disposals and inadequate, poorly maintained latrine stands are affecting the day-to-day operations of the school. Um, as it concerns funds, especially the UP grant of the school, they have been regularly given to our institution. Uh, it's only this time that uh, it has uh, not been put in the account. I think uh, this week on Wednesday was the time when I checked the account. I got uh, the UP was not put there, and uh, I immediately reported it to the to the main office. They told me they need to find out why. It's is missing and just today they had sent somebody that they are working on it so they, they, are, they are already in touch to find out why they have not put so it's not only my school there are also other schools who do not even get the UPE they want to find why they have not put for our schools the Aurora City Town Clerk elaborates that the reason for the delay is because of the change of the payment procedures. We have schools which missed. We have four schools that missed. And uh, the missing uh, of these uh, schools, uh, like not receiving these funds, is attributed to one factor. Schools were informed to do what they call e-registration. Government of Uganda right now pays through IFMS. When we are paying to these schools, we use IFMS to pay to these schools. And the accounts they are having were the old accounts. Uh, we need uh, to further inform them, but I know my education officer informed them about uh, the upgrade. They need to handle their accounts. They register them with the e-registration platform. We have an institute officer who can help them, and then the funds can be sent. We had a supplementary uh, budget. One was in health. Another one was in... Um, uh, we had ex and honoraria. Then the last one was uh, education. So for education, we had uh, funds close to 300 million. These are capitation grants which go to the various... Uh, Secondary schools. Then we had close to 90 million, which was a capital grant, UP capital grant, or what we call uh, a development grant, which will handle issues to do with uh, infrastructure development or infrastructure improvement. For instance, issues of desks, pit latrines, and classrooms. Universal Primary Education has boosted the enrollment of children in schools in Aurora City. Schools are encouraged to adhere to the changes of the UPE fund payment procedures so as to attain the necessary funds needed to operate and manage the schools. Reporting for West Nile Television, I am Okumuringa Christine.